Hey guys, thanks for uh, taking a minute to check this out. Try to do a uh, leak down test on this, and I just don't think I'm getting it right. So, first thing I did was uh, find top dead center on the compression stroke, uh, which I'm at. Uh, you can see the top valve is going in. Um, so, as we come up to the top and then compressed, and then the exhaust. So, I'm right there at the top. So let me uh, let me get the compression test on and show you what happens and see if you can help out. Hit the paw. All right, so we're back. I have this uh, set at 40 right now. Um, when I insert this, I usually just get a hissing sound. Um, watch it spin this time. Try to put my knee there just in case. All right, so not getting any movement out of this. Uh, so it's not pushing the cylinder down. I don't know if you can hear that, but I can hear air coming out. And it seems to be coming out of the carburetor. Uh, I'm going to, I'm down to, I don't know if you can see that, down to like zero on the, uh, on the leak down and down to 30 on my input for some reason, 25 rather. Uh, but here's the interesting thing. I'm just going to ramp this up a little bit. Bring this up to 40. Now, when I turn this, it gets worse, obviously, because I'm opening the intake. But as I go past it, all right, I don't know if you can see. Now I hit. Now, I don't know, right there it's fighting me back. So the exhaust valve just came up. All right, I'm just gonna go through this one more time. So as I come through, actually I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna hit the pause button here. And uh, give me one second. All right, we're back. I'm actually just gonna see where the cylinder is when it was giving me that, that resistance. I mean, it's all the way down. When I was getting resistance, the cylinder is all the way down. Now, as I turn back, yeah, see, no, go the other way. And now it starts to come back up, right? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing the leak down wrong. I have no idea. But my thought was that the cylinder had to be a top dead center with both valves closed to, to get a good leak down test. Um, any thoughts? Help? Greatly appreciated. Thanks, guys.